Are you someone who is interested to start your career as a PCB designer in ESDM industry? Or if you are someone who is already into ESDM industry as a PCB designer and wanted to increase your skills? Or if you are someone already expert as a PCB designer in ESDM industry? Then you are at a right place to learn new skills with respect to PCB design engineering. Hi everyone, I am Vaibhav Sivandi, co-creator at Linked Frequency. Welcome to our new tutorial series, Components Library Design using Easy EDA. In these tutorial series, we are not just learning how to design a components, but also understanding the theory behind them and also the techniques and tricks that we are going to use in our startup activity, we are going to share it with you in all these tutorial series. So let's get started. First thing first, why we are creating these tutorial series? In that, first of all, when I did a very detailed analytics of our YouTube channel, which is comprised of uh, four years of data so far, whatever we have launched, in that one video is always trending. And that video is related to schematic symbol and PCB footprint design in Easy EDA. Looking at that, when we go into that particular comment sections and all, most of the comments are related to how to design much more different footprints or different component library and all. That is the first and foremost reason why we starting these new tutorial series. Second reason is improving your skills is always important in PCB industry. When you are creating a new component, when you are creating a new PCB boards, you need to understand how to create a footprint and how to create a schematic symbol as required or as customized for your project work. That's why these tutorials are going to help you to learn how to create a new schematic symbols and new footprints based on your project. That's why we are starting these new tutorial series. Second point is how we create the schematic symbol and PCB footprint. First of all, when we start with the designing schematic symbol and PCB footprint, the fundamental for that is data sheet. We need to identify the right data sheet of a right component that we are going to use in practical. Because when we look at the component on online or maybe on data sheet, it looks a little different than physically when it is purchased. That's why you need to match the part number of the purchased product or a purchased part number with respect to the data sheet that you are referring. So from that point, we need to create a schematic symbol using easy EDA tool, of course, and then we need to map it to the PCB footprint that we are going to create using easy EDA. This entire detailed process we are going to explain to you in our tutorial series. Third point, what all we are going to cover in these tutorial. First thing is we need to start with the fundamental concepts. For example, creating a schematic symbol and a footprint for through whole RGB LED because it is essential to understand the fundamentals as you are a beginner or maybe intermediate person with respect to easy EDA it is little different so understanding all that fundamental points are very essential which we are going to start with the basic component like RGB LED later in intermediate level we are going to start with the uh, operational amplifier IC triple fire timer IC and so on which are very commonly used in most of electronic circuits and later, after 10 tutorials, we are going to start with the SMD components as well. We are going to focus on professional level designing of DC to DC buck converters or maybe a specific ICs which are having a very specific footprint design which requires a complex mathematical calculations. We are going to cover almost all 15 different types of components library creation in Easy EDA. Last but not the least, what is the fourth point? It is all about what are the prerequisite for these tutorial? First thing is you must be from a electronics or electrical or circuitry related engineering background. Otherwise, you will not be having any sense of understanding with respect to whatever tutorial we are going to make in this series. Of course, it is good to explore or learn new skills, but you need to understand what is component, what is electronics, what is basics of electronics before understanding the concept of component library. That's why you must be having a prerequisite of basic circuitry knowledge. Second thing is you need to know about the PCB designing skills. At least you have to complete the basics of PCB designing in our YouTube channel linked frequency before watching this tutorial. Because there you will learn how exactly these terminologies are used in PCB industry. So that you can understand what we are going to talk in this particular tutorial. 
The third one is you need to have an active internet connection with a laptop and bare minimum of external keyboard and mouse. Why? Because there are so many things which cannot be done with respect to the um, you know touch sensor pad on our laptop or maybe anything other than mouse. So that's why it is essential to have external keyboard and mouse. Last but not the least, you have to pay attention to the details that we are going to speak in this particular tutorial series. Why? Because this is all related to the minute details. If you make a small mistake with respect to 0.1 mm or 0.2 mm difference, then your entire schematic library or maybe a PCB footprint especially is not going to fit to the physical component on the fabrication. It's all complicated process. Those who knows, knows it. That's why you must understand paying attention to the details, attention to the calculations, matching the numbers is very essential. That's why you must have a very good focus on this entire tutorial series if you are practicing for a serious skill upgradation or implementing these skills on your real-time uh, career opportunity. That's all for an uh, introduction for this particular new series which is all about component library creation using EasyEDA. For more information, check out our Link Frequency YouTube channel and explore the new courses that we are going to create in our channel. See you again in the next video. Until then, tune yourself to make a difference.